HTC Vive just introduced the YouTube of 3D worlds. What does that mean? Let me explain. What you're seeing here is a 3D world in Viveverse and it looks really smooth. You got all of these 3D objects, but here's what's crazy about it. These worlds aren't just viewable, but they're also editable. All right, so we got our factory here. Let's load up something. This factory needs an autumn sword. All of this is being done in the browser. Right now you, can, you can't really see that, but I'm going to make this easier to see. So I'm selecting the item. I'm gonna rotate the item. I'm gonna make it much larger with the scale. I just learned how to use this a couple of minutes ago, by the way. So this is new to me, but it is really easy to do. Since this is like YouTube, you don't have to stay on your own world. You can go to other people's world. If this is a retro bar, let's go ahead and travel to a bar while we're in Barcelona, shall we? Step into a retro bar where neon lights and vintage decor set the stage for timeless tunes and classic cocktails. Let's see how it goes. Performance requirement is low because again, this is all running in a browser. A browser, okay? So you don't need to have the most top of the line computer. You don't need to have the most top of the line headset even because this is all essentially streaming. HTC Vive is using the technology they call polygon streaming. So everything you're seeing right here, that's being rendered. But if there's objects in the 3D space that you're not seeing, they're not rendering. So it's happening very fast. As you zoom in and out, you're being served more and more details or less detail as you zoom in and out. That's crazy. Do you see how fast this is going? This is not, this is not expected, I will tell you, because it should be stuttery and lame, but no, it's moving very, very smooth. This is live, by the way, because I'm moving around and making people sick. I can't believe what I'm saying right here because this 3D world, it's not only shareable, but you can put it on any web page you want because guess what? It's embeddable. Go to the share option, embed, put this code on a website and you have this virtual world available to whomever you want. That's kind of nuts. HTC Vive isn't just about playing around, it's also about making money. That's right, what an idea. 3D objects aren't just a gimmick. It gives you a better view of what you're going to get. So if you wanna see what a Vive headset looks like, you can do that. To really drive home the point you don't need to do any coding or be a 3D expert, Viveverse lets you take 2D images and it will convert them to 3D for you thanks to AI. So here's this pineapple chew and now I can spin it in space. How exactly they got the back of this, no one knows. I asked HTC and they're like, we don't know either. So somehow it's doing some magic on the back end. In certain cases, if you've got a 3D object, you can place it on a table thanks to AR. It'll give you a sense of scale, you can look around it, and you'll see what it looks like in your environment. While HTC Vive has spent millions upon millions developing this, they are not charging at all for Viveverse. I've asked several times and this is free, which sounds bonkers. Let me know what worlds you're gonna build in the comments because I wanna see them, because you can embed them anywhere. I can see it on my phone later. Don't forget to check out the rest of our Mobile World Congress coverage at PCMag.com. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you later in another world.